in the web and social networking sites. Like never before, we can watch the games and get up close and personal with the athletes. CTV's Paul Brent looks at the social side of sports. Do you have your Olympic red mittens? They're tough to find and they're a hot item for web discussion. An Ottawa firm called Media Miser tracks what's being said online and on traditional media. The mittens were right up there along with our hockey team. Traditional media may lead the way, yet social media is coming on strong. I think generally speaking, social media is uh, an excellent way to communicate and uh, people are gravitating towards that media because um, it just makes sense. With 400 million people on Facebook, tens of millions of more blogging and podcasting and on the likes of Twitter, that's a lot of eyeballs that will be watching the Olympics online, and broadcasters are promising to put more content than ever online. CTVOlympics.ca offers not only live streaming coverage, but also information on athletes and the chance for you to post your story. The site also links to Twitter and the posts of our athletes and their personal view. And there's Twitter-athletes.com to get in touch with more of them. SocialMention.com is an Ottawa-based search engine which tracks just social sites. I think uh, this is going to be the most social Olympics we've had so far. I think... Uh it's going to be a different experience for a lot of people because of social media. Rusk monitors the social world and she says now may be the perfect time to get social, to send messages of support to athletes, read their posts, check their Facebook page, be part of the games. A national contest for two ordinary people to go to the games and post their view, Derek and Elise are from Ottawa. People haven't found their sort of social media calling yet and they're really interested in the Olympics. It's probably their perfect opportunity to get involved. Paul Brent, CTV News.